Hi, in this video we are going to talk about how to evaluate different functions in MATLAB. So let's just have different functions. Here I have three different functions uh, or variables defined as x, y, and z and I have to evaluate them in MATLAB. So let's start with the first one, square root over square root of 2 over 2. So I can just say x equals square root of 2 over 2. And if I just run, this is the script I just saved and I, ha I named it as a basic function. So you can save it in, in any name. And if I just run it, you can see the x equals uh, 2.0071 appears. So this is how we can do simple square root and the function square root is sqrt you can always type help sqrt and figure out how to use this function okay you can as always we can use clc and clear all commands here okay that's our first uh, variable then the second variable was y y equals one over square root of two pi exponential and then negative x square, x square over 2. So this is a little complicated function. We're going to use parentheses to make sure that we get the correct function. So first let's just uh, input this 1 over square root of 2 pi. So to do that let's say y equals equal this is an assignment operator it assigns the variable to that value. So now the first term was 1 over square root of 2 pi so let's just type 1 over square root 2 times pi pi is the pi function in MATLAB. And we can close the parenthesis. Now we can use another set of parentheses to isolate this term. And then we can see the other terms. Um, if I go back to the slide, after this there's an exponential function and to the power of negative x, x squared over 2. So we can say times the exponential function is exp and then negative x squared. We can use x because we already defined x here and then over 2. So we can close the parenthesis and if we run it, you can see the first variable was x, second variable y is 0 0.3107. So it has been evaluated. One thing to make sure is that the variables we're using here, x and um, if we use another one, we have to define it previously. If, if it's not defined previously, then MATLAB will show error. So that way we, have to, we can evaluate different functions. So let's uh, evaluate the other one that we have. Let's go back to the slides. So here z equals to 20 10 base log y. So for a 10 base log, we can use a log 10 function in MATLAB. So we can say help log 10 is our 10 base log. So you can see it's a 10 base 10 logarithm. So let's define z log 20 times log 10. That's the function, and then the the variable was y. If we close the parenthesis and if we run it, it should show x, y, and z. And we can use uh, these functions to evaluate multiple other functions, like we can use sine function, and we can use uh, inverse sine, and so on. So evaluating these uh, functions in MATLAB. Um, that's it for now. Thank you for watching. See you in the next one.